Chances are if you own a bike, it's probably stored away for the winter. That's not the case for cyclists who are working to build what's known as cross skills, including a Milwaukee teenager moving up in the competitive sport of cyclocross. Frank Healy shares his journey off the beaten path. This is cross weather. Most of us probably ride our bikes when it's warm out and on the road. But that's not the case for Elias Say. Competing throughout like the late fall into the winter and early spring, the weather is always uh, pretty nasty. He's a 17-year-old cyclocrosser who has competed in cycling sports with the Shorewood mountain bike team, Proterra, and U.S. cycling in the Cyclocross World Cup. Okay. But what is cyclocross? Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's a cyclocross bike made for only cross. I mean, you can ride it on the road. I do a lot, but just for training. But it's, it's similar to a road bike. It's, it's a sport that was invented in Europe, a kind of off-road biking that involves navigating through rough terrain both on and off your bike to complete laps, of course, is fastest. Elias says he got interested in extreme sports at a young age. When I was like six, I guess. He, my dad started, I uh, started riding dirt bikes with my dad. Grew up in the extreme sports generation. So grew up skateboarding and riding dirt bikes and bicycles. And so naturally I just wanted to share that, all that with my kids as much as possible. Elias' dad, Miles, says when Elias shifted to cycling more, he pushed him to get on the Shorewood mountain bike team in sixth grade. We kind of snuck me in because there weren't sixth graders allowed at the time. We were a little reluctant initially to take the 11 year olds. Um, now this year we have almost 30. Sydney Shimko, Who's up next? co-head coach for the team, says it's been amazing to watch him grow since then. He's a talented and dedicated bike racer, but the best thing about Elias is he's just a great kid. Didn't really take it very seriously the first few years, but I was really competitive and I wanted to win and do better. I started actually training a little more and I got second in the freshman division for freshman year. And I didn't like getting second. So I trained a lot more. Eventually he shifted to cyclocross. That was kind of my one goal for that year was to win varsity. And I won four out of the five races, including state. Yeah, so last year I got 15th at nationals, which was, I thought was really good for the time uh, just because of I'd only been really racing cross for one year. Elias says he kept accomplishing goals. I was really hoping for like to stick in that top five to top seven. And so far I've been right around there. And after getting recognized at the national level, he got selected to be one of five people to represent the United States in the World Cup in Europe. I guess I was that fifth guy. It's kind of crazy to me. It doesn't feel like real. Being able to represent my country, it really, it feels good. While he didn't take home a trophy, he says being a kid from River West, competing at this level has inspired him to do more. Seeing how good the level is across the, the big pond is it's really eye-opening. I think that, um, it, I think it gives me a lot more motivation super proud of his dedication and focus and drive. Miles says his meteoric rise over the past year has been inspiring. You know, to go from Cat 4, which is one of the lowest categories, to the elite of the elite, the highest level in the world in, in one year has just been a, incredible and, a, and is a testament to his focus and drive and dedication. And You know, he's inspires me every day to get up and work hard. Elias is inspiring others too, as the Shorewood mountain bike team has grown four times the size since he started, with even more younger athletes getting involved. The kids absolutely know who he is and they're absolutely inspired by him and, and they chose him. If I can become like a professional cyclist, that would be, I guess that would be my ultimate goal, but I'm not sure if that's super feasible yet. Elias says regardless of where he ends up, he hopes others can see him sticking with it and be inspired as well. I think that if you're having fun in something, just don't let other people make the sport or activity that you're doing not fun. Just you can do it in your own way and do what you love and just keep at what, what you're doing. Once I learned how